WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Monday. Two hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets hanging around negative territory. Dow Jones right now, negative 139 points, trading 26,783. We have the S&Ps negative by 17, trading at 29.73. NASDAQ negative by 73 points. We get Apple pulling back, some of the chip stocks as well. Apple getting a downgrade. NASDAQ off 9 tenths percent, trading at 8,088. And we have the Russell off about 9 tenths percent as well, or 14 points in the red, trading at 15.61. As we start off the update, let's take a look at the VIX this afternoon. We're getting a slight pop, as you'd expect. Expect as the market pulls back a bit to start Monday trading and the VIX trading at 1420. Start things off. Let's take a look at the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. A little bit of a choppy market. We're kind of right in the middle of where we were at about 10 a.m., trading 26,776. We were about 50 or 60 points higher at one point, just after 10 a.m. Eastern time. NASDAQ 100, we trade lower after the opening bell. There's your opening bell bar. We begin at 78.16. We're within 20 points of that level, trading 77.97. S&P 500, 29.77, near the session lows that we made about a couple hours ago. Crude oil, a little bit of volatility at 8.30. We trade from 57.31. We trade up a solid dollar to 58.42. Currently trading just under $58 at 57.94 for the price of August crude. Gold contract backing off a bit after trading higher for the early session. Last night, we were trading at 13.96, kind of right where we are right now. We make it all the way up to 14.10, and then we've backed off to that level, made it to a low of 13.95 just after noon, currently trading at 13.98, and the euro US dollar trading 112.14. In terms of what else you have happening out there, I mentioned Apple getting a downgrade by Rosenblatt to sell on fundamental deterioration. Talking about that. Their service revenue growth over the last four to six quarters and the launch of Apple Music and news, we believe service revenue growth will also decelerate. Apple getting hit by that a bit. Not too bad, but 2.2 percent. And I say not too bad, as in you got a bounce there off the low of under 199, back at 199.70. You also have Deutsche Bank coming out. They're going to do some restructuring, laying off about 18,000 people. That number taking quite a hit. And then uh, Nike, pretty interesting. I was just reading about, of course, women's soccer team taking the World Cup. Congratulations to them. Nike sponsoring 14 out of the 24 teams in that tournament, three out of the final four, and of course, Team USA. So they're doing well this morning on that sponsorship. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento, live at 3.